You vote to dress, dress. Everybody saying dress. Oh wow. Okay. Y'all want to dress? Okay. Um. Alrighty. Well, let's do the dress. Okay. Let's see if I have enough material for the dress. Okay. Okay, so, see if I have enough material for the dress. Um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do, yeah, okay, okay, I know what we're gonna do. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have enough material for the dress. This is gonna be a, this is, the dress that I'm getting ready to do is gonna be kind of a, I don't know, sassafras dress, I guess. But anyway, what you do, once again, let me, let me, the same concept. Uh oh, Ooh, that phone never rings. I don't know who that is. I don't need to answer it. Okay. So, since we're going to do the dress, this fabric, I have no idea what the size of the fabric is. But we're getting ready to measure it. It doesn't matter to me because when I freestyle, I just use fabric. Okay, but we just because I know you probably you guys are probably going to ask. We're going to find out what size this fabric is. Okay, let's see. Stretch. And actually, hmm. Um. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so the fabric is the fabric is okay this is 24 inches in length and of course 30 inches across so actually what I want to do is I want to use this part of the fabric I want to I mean I want to use it going the the grain going um, the stretch going down the body which a lot of people don't do that but I'm, you know I'm just going to do the dress but anyway just to show you guys all right so same concept fold it in half fold it in half and let's get Miss Renee back over here. Alright, fold it in half. Okay, so I'm just going all the every which way. Okay. So I got it folded in half as you can see. And my folded um area is on my line. So I'm going to take it and pin it to Miss Renee's center line. Pin it to Miss Renee's center line. Okay. All right. So now this doesn't stretch that much because the stretch is going this way. So we might have to do a little more fitting. So I'm going to take and do a, I'm going to tell you what the measurements are when I finish. Okay, so you put the pin here at your waist, like you started here, and then you put the fabric if you half of the fabric here and then you put a pin there and then you take the fabric and you fold it in half and wherever that pin is that's where you pin it together okay all right let's take this out take this 
out. Okay, move her to bed. So I have folded it in half. Okay, I folded it in half. So let's find out what the measurements are. Okay. So that is eight. So that means that it will be. Okay, 32. Did that just right. It'd be 32 inches around. It'd be 32 inches around. Okay, I did that just perfectly. Okay, so the next step with this dress is to see if anybody can have any questions. Okay, the next step with this dress is to cut. Okay, this is going to be my waist area. This is going to be the hole in the dress. And it's going to be attached to this. It's going to be attached to this. Okay. So another way you can do that is you could have just folded it in half and did one of these numbers and do the stretch thing. But we didn't do that. So we're going to do it this way. Okay. So... What you do is you're going to cut, it's always, it's always better to cut um, um, less than more. So I'm going to cut less and I'm just going to cut a, not, it's, it's not quite a U shape because I don't want the U shape. If you, if you do a U shape, it's going to dip down in the front. It's going to kind of like um, if you cut it like a half circle it's going to kind of dip dip down. It's going to kind of dip down but I want it to kind of go across. So I'm cutting it this way. I am going to cut it See how I'm going to cut it? I'm going to cut it like this. It's hard to see, but I'm going to cut it and I'm going to show you guys. I feel like I'm battling. Okay. So, you see that? Okay. So, that's how I have it. So now you see it, it's it's kind of wide, but that's okay because we're gonna we're gonna fix that. We're gonna gather it and fix it and stuff like that. Okay, so now the next thing we need to do is we're gonna attach this, but we're gonna do a um we're gonna do a gathering stitch a gathering stitch. Then again, I don't want to do a gathering stitch. I don't want to do a gathering stitch. I am going to stitch it. I'm going to do something. Okay, so this is wide. Let me, sh let me tell you how wide this is. This should be 32 inches wide. 32 inches round. Yeah. Okay, because I wanted it kind of wide. Okay. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. All right. Um, we are going to fold this in half. Okay. And we are going to, okay. This is kind of, it's going to be kind of tricky. Okay. We got the top. Okay. So half of the top is here. So we're going to fold this in half and we're going to put those together. See those? They're going to be together. So in order for me to get those together, I'm going to take a pen and I'm just going to pin 
one part of the um, one layer of the fabric on one end and I'm going to pin the other part of the fabric on the other end so I'll know where the middle part is okay so I know where the middle, middle part is okay I open it back up and I have my two pins put together so my two pins I'm going to put together and I'm going to put my two pins together and pin those together okay okay so that's the bottom part of it you, you we're pinning the bottom parts together um, and the top is on the wrong side both both fabrics are on the wrong side I think I'm getting y'all confused because I'm almost confusing myself okay basic basically what I'm doing is I'm pinning the um, the bottom part to the piece part to the top part okay bottom part to the top to the um, the top part to the bottom part and then I want to flip the fabric over I want to flip the fabric over and kind of pin them together I didn't practice this dress, y'all, so I got to kind of figure out what I want to do. Okay, so stretch it, stretch it out and make it even and pin the other side the same way you pin the front part. Okay, I'm going to show you. So, let me show you what I did, because it can be a little confusing, the way I just explained it. Okay. Okay. So, we got the top part, okay? Now, the bottom part that I had, I cut it out, I cut the center out, a little bit wider than I was supposed to cut it out okay so I had to measure I had to make sure that this bottom part was even with this top part so I had to fold both of them in half both of them in half and find the middle seam the middle part of the of the fabric so that middle part of the fabric what I did was I pinned the bottom part to the top part from the middle on both layers so this is one layer that I pin to the top and this is the bottom layer that I pin to the top okay so that's and that's how I did that so you pin it all the way um, uh -oh. it's going to be um, a loose thread left right here but that's fine see that hole right here it's going to be a hole left right here because it's not going to stretch all the way over but that's fine I, I, I don't that's not a problem the way that I'm going to do it is it'll work fine okay so I'm going to sew this so you guys can kind of get a picture of what I'm trying to do this is what I do all the time I get something and I figure something out and I I intend to make one thing and then I end up making something else and and uh, I never
never know what I'm going to make, really. I just sometimes make fabric and start sewing. Okay. I'm going to show you guys. Alrighty. Uh -oh. So, um... If you guys have any questions, if you have any um, saying that you don't understand, let me know because some stuff I don't understand either. To be honest with you, I said some stuff that I couldn't figure out what I said. I had to repeat it. That's why I don't do a lot of tutorials because I am a quiet sewer. I like to, I like, sometimes all I like to do is my, um, music, um, and that's how I think, so that's why I don't do a lot of tutorials, because I have to, I can't think when I'm talking, um, I know it's kind of like, all right. Okay, here we go. All right. So, let me get these loose threads out the way. Okay. Um, all right. So now, 